We begin tonight with new information on how a Fairfax County Public Schools guidance counselor was able to keep working for years after an arrest that ultimately placed him on Virginia's sex offender registry. Good evening, I'm Doreen Gensler. And I'm Jim Hanley. Thanks for staying up with us. It only came to light after Darren Thornton was arrested again this summer. News 4's Jackie Benson says outrage is being voiced at the top levels of state government. The Chesterfield County, Virginia Police Department confirms there were problems with their November 20th, 2020 efforts to notify Fairfax County school officials that Glasgow Middle School guidance counselor Darren Thornton had been arrested for soliciting an underage prostitute. In a statement to News 4, Records Administrator Karen Leonard says the sender initially made a typo in the recipient's email address. She says a second email, two minutes later, was sent to the corrected address. She says a third was sent three minutes later to another email address also provided by a person described only as someone in a Fairfax County Public Schools office. The statement went on to say, today, upon further investigation, we learned that the emails did come back to that employee's spam folder as undeliverable. Despite his arrest, his 2022 conviction, a suspended five-year sentence, and placement on Virginia's sex offender registry, where he listed his job as self-employed, Thornton continued working at Glasgow Middle School until he was arrested again in June in Chesterfield County. This time, police said they called Fairfax County Public Schools to notify them of the arrest on the charge of soliciting a prostitute. It's very upsetting. Shauna Yasher is with a group called the Fairfax County Parents Association. They are advocating for yearly background checks and updates for school staff and a hotline to report concerns. There's a reporting system with all employers whenever you have some sort of concern or issue that you want to report it. There's a confidential reporting system. Parents should be able to do that. Other teachers should be able to do that. Students should be able to do that. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin released a statement on the matter. It reads in part, I have just asked our state superintendent of schools to make sure that the Department of Education is reiterating the hiring policies, the background check policies that are critical to make sure that we never ever have a middle school counselor that has been arrested for soliciting sex from a minor in our school system. In addition to firing him, the school system says it is petitioning the state to revoke Thornton's teaching license. In Fairfax County, Jackie Benson, News 4. Today, the Virginia Department of Correction says it is investigating how Thornton was registered as self-employed in the state's sex offender registry, despite having a job with Fairfax County Schools.